Hello. Hello. All right, so we got DK Dan versus Looney, and DK Dan's not playing DK, he's yeah. playing Wolf. Yo, new game, new him. Yeah, and Looney is, he's a Brawl player, he used to play Snake in Brawl, right? Yeah. And now now he's playing Snake in, in this game, and he's doing pretty well. He beat Bonkai the round before this, so. Yeah, Bonkai won his Pokemon trainer, from what I believe. Um, I, be I don't even think it was close, from what I heard. Yeah, and that's actually, like, really good adaptations from Looney, because I'm pretty sure... Last Wednesday, he lost a Bonkai in bracket, so... Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, and he's doing pretty good right now, so... Improvement. Yeah, yeah. especially for someone... I, I don't know if DK Dan played Brawl, but that's pretty much the standard. Like, if you played... If you didn't play Brawl, like, you're gonna have a hard time adapting to Snake. Yeah. Like, he, early Ultimate. If he did play Brawl, I never met him. So... Yeah. Yeah. He played Brawl in his little condo. Let's just assume he didn't play Brawl, because he's doing, like... He, he, he's struggling he, a little bit right now. Yeah. He, he definitely looks unfamiliar. Yeah, and especially being a sock down from uh, Snake. Like, yeah. Snake just loves taking trades when he's up, so. Yeah. These counters are not looking like the move right now. Oh, the shines? Yeah, the shines. Okay, down throw, get him off stage. All right, recover high. Yeah, that's like classic Snake, you just recover high. Oh, okay. That, uh, Sage has been saying how spaces do really well versus Snake. Uh, I want to see how DK Dan, like, kind of abuses Snake's really bad disadvantage. Yeah, Snake, I believe, has one of the worst disadvantage of one of the high mid-tiers, I believe, in this game. Yeah. Oh, the Nikita trying yeah. to catch his uh, up B. Oh! Wow, that was really sick. He's just blowing up. And falling up here, and I see the chase. And <laughs> the sticky did not go on him. Yeah, watching good Snake, it's just like, wow, the stage is literally exploding. Like, like it, it looks like a battlefield. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's really afraid of like these random grenades. Yeah. Going on. Okay, back there, get him off the stage, get stage control. <laughs> yeah. And he doesn't. DK Dan looks like he doesn't know what's going on right now. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. tries to read the jump. Uh, at low percent, Wolf does have a combo throw. He can typically just up throw and then fair or up air depending on the eye. Yeah. Oh, okay. fault. That's dare. From what I believe. The little yeah. axe kick, or is it fair? Uh, the one where he's just like kicking up and yeah. down, that, that's down here. Okay. Right? Down here? Yeah. Yeah, that's down here. Ooh, that up air probably might tech have done chase? it. Nice tech chase with the jabs. Yeah. He shielded, expecting a get up attack, but then drop shield and jab him once he picked his get up option. F tilt. Yeah. Oh, that's up tilt? What? Oh. That's I crazy. Thought, that and that's up tilt right there. Alright, well, up tilt takes the stock. Yikes. I didn't play Brawl, I'm sorry, I don't know his moves. <laughs> He has like a he has a punch punch kick as jab and his F tilt is just one was two. That, what, oh okay. Yeah. I was gave about him to say much. that was literally a punching kick. No. No knee to headbutt. Oh. Yeah. Who uh, designed uh. this character? Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Well. Yo, let's go, Looney. Yeah, Looney taking game one there. You know. I don't know. Snake, Snake is yeah. just really good versus people that don't know the matchups. So. I, I truly believe that. Yeah. But I think that about a lot of characters right now. Yeah and. It's bound to happen. Like it's this is like the second week of Ultimate. There's so. 74 characters. Yeah. There's You're no not, way. There's no way you played all yeah. against all the characters at top, at least high to mid level, consistently. Yeah, and especially from uh, uh, DK Dan being from Westchester, like there's not a lot of like people that play Brawl or just like know the same matchup in general. I'm pretty sure from from like that region, they probably only have like Cheese, who's technically Long Island. Yeah. But like. Honestly, I wouldn't expect him to know the matchup. And Cheese also goes his Meta Knight and his Ices. Yeah. So. All right. Well, game two going to Smashville. This hazard's off, so the platform's gonna stay right in the middle. Yeah. Kind of like Yoshi's Brawl. This is uh, definitely different from the Smash Four iteration. In this stage, I believe Center Stage is gonna dominate the entire thing. Yeah. Still have about around about the same blast zones as the last game. So there's no adjustment there. Yeah. I like I like how DK Dan's playing it now. He's kind of sitting back, and then once he gets his opening, that, that's when he pushes, like, like his advantage to, like, as much as he can. But once once he, like, he's like, okay, we reset to neutral. I'm going to shoot a couple lasers and, like, sit back. Yeah. I also agree with the stage choice, because um, Smashville is one of the smaller stages in length-wise. Yeah. So he basically gets to trap Snake for free. Yeah. And... While Struni was just Looney, was just running away most of the match. 
See? He just gets a like free corner right yeah, there. Exactly, yeah. Once you trap Snake, like his his buttons to get out of disadvantage are not really that great. So he kinda has to rely on using his grenades and trading. But DK Dan doing a good job in taking that first stock. Okay. Little run around game himself. And he forced Looney to approach there. Yeah, showing back, shooting some lasers. Wolf's lasers are really good, at, at least like in early meta of Ultimate, because like people like to dash in a lot. They like to dash back and forth. So lasers are just gonna stuff that. Yeah, and this is the first time we're actually seeing Looney actually down. Yeah. And I don't like his like approach when he comes down. Yeah, yeah. He's not. He's trying to force his way in, and he's struggling. Because the thing is, like, game one, he had a stock lead, so he was basically just taking any trade he can and just, like, playing as safe as possible. But you can't really play that safe when you're down this much. Yeah. And you can't even trade that much when you're down. Yeah, exactly. Like, Wolf's back is going to kill. That F-Tilt is going to kill. Like, like that, that yeah. That F-Tilt's ridiculous. Yeah, like, trading is just it's sometimes not the move. Especially not when you're uh, uh, down. No. When you're down, yeah. Okay, good juggles. That up yeah. is... Really good for starting juggles. And he's already at 77%. Now 80, 90. Dash attack his way out of disadvantage. And Looney needs to get the stock. Because this is not looking good. Yep. Down throw. Oh. Ooh, tried to read the tech roll back and get a dash attack. That might have killed. That up tilt anti air, not going to take it. And back to lasers. And I like the way DK Dan is playing this. Wow, <laughs> that was sick movement from Looney. He baited him, looking like he was going to go back to center stage. Then B reverses back to the corner. Like, who, who's going to go back to the corner? And then he just kills him with a, what was that, C4? Oh, I didn't even see him plan for it. Yeah. Plant that. But yeah, he killed him with the C4. And Looney's just getting momentum back. Right. Nikita, oh, that could have stage spiked. And if DK Dan missed attack, that would have been it. Oh, All right. Dash attack out of disadvantage. Looney's advantage right now. That F tilt. The Nikita, oh. nice tech. And he expected him to come in. Oh. Blowing up. But he's still good. Covering his F tilt with, uh, with the grenade. Really smart stuff. Yeah. If, if he didn't crawl, do that. Back throw. Oh, that back throw's going to do it. Nice. From center stage. And what stage do you think we're going to go? Uh, probably a bigger stage. I'd say like probably like Kalos or. Yeah, I think Kalos is the move. Kalos or like FE or PSU maybe. I don't know how much Looney has played, like on the stages, or, like different variants. He's been grinding. He's been grinding. He... I believe he's been grinding because he's yeah. definitely beat Bankai from compared to like this week and last week. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. Let's say he's been grinding on like one stage. Yeah, maybe. Not like rotating through. Eh, I I mean he he's been grinding at like the the pre-release event for like. Here at Zeno, so. Okay. I mean, is that okay? Okay, so now we got a game three. And we're going. Dun, dun, dun. Three, Yoshi's. Two, one, Miller. Do, 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 so, huh. I don't know if you know this. Is the stage still small, like in Miller? Uh, I have no clue. It is, it is. Yeah, the blast zones are, like, smaller, but the stage is obviously huge. Yeah, for yeah. scaling. Yeah, like, it's a bigger... It's bigger than Battlefield, Yeah. but the blast zones are still relatively smaller. Okay. Now, are they small to, like, Smashville standards or just, like, super small? Or, like, average stage? I want to say it's smaller than average, but okay. I, don't, I can't say that with a lot of A lot of confidence? confidence. No, all right. And Looney content with taking these trades right now. Uh, gonna put him in disadvantage. All right, now DK Dan has him in disadvantage. Now uh, that up, falling up though. Up here, and yeah. it seems to be like, it's basically an even game right now. Yeah. These explosions. Ooh, yeah, nice cover with the grenade. Okay. And I actually believe whoever takes this first stock might win the game. Yeah. Because DK Dan doesn't, yeah. Yeah. I was just gonna, gonna say DK Dan doesn't look like he's very like, good at playing from behind versus Snake, because like right now Looney's going to sit back and he's going to throw his grenades, like set up his C4 and... Yeah. Eh. He's going to play his game and he yeah. wasn't even um, shining his first stock, but now he got him in shine yeah. and doing that wow. idea again. Grenade Four. to grenade, dude. It, it happens, man. 
Alright, there's the jab. Nice dash attack, grenade. first option. I like how oh. Looney's playing this. He he looks like he's content with just camping, but then he randomly throws out a dash attack which has like really good burst range. And it's just catching DK Dan off guard. He looks like he has like a lot of space to dash around and just like find his way in, but then like Looney oh. just stuffs him out with dash attack. I, I like these grenade play, man. Yeah, okay, and the fall, the fall in, the up air to catching him yeah. coming down. Ooh, that parry, you're not gonna get a punish off of it. Yeah, but he got a punish off his grenade. And getting 46% and counting. Ooh, that trade. Oh, that up, up tilt whiffing. Yeah. That one actually, that trade actually gonna go in DK Dan's favor. Oh, no, never and mind. And he stuck him. Yeah. Ooh, good tomahawk up throw. You can't really get a, a good follow up off that, but wow, that aerial gonna do 22 damage. Yeah, and dodging these down smashes. Down smash will kill at this percent, and Looney knows. Yeah. All right, going super high. I don't agree with DK Dan swinging so early. Yeah, okay. up throw, not going to take it. Yeah. He has to wait for him to come down a little. Like, that's the problem with a lot of people. They they try and swing at Snake when they're all the way up in the blast zone, but you're not going to catch him if you swing too early. Yeah, you got to wait for the descent. Yeah. All right, okay. that up here is going to take it. Last stock situation, game three. 56%. And he just takes that grenade to the face. All right. And he's like, I don't like the fact that DK Dan is lighting Looney set up. Yeah. He did most of his best work when he basically had him pressured. I like that spacing on the nair. Gonna get a grab up throw to up air there. to back air. Yeah. Converting off a lot. And now giving him his respect. Okay. Yeah. Looking for a pro time to come in. I like this. He's, he's being more patient because he knows if he takes trades right now, it, it's gonna put him into like up tilt kill percent, and you know Looney's so good at finding that up tilt. Yeah, and right. the burst, burst dash attack that you've been saying. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, goes for a spot dodge. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, drop it right away. Yeah. He would have had it. Backdoor gonna put him on the stage. He's probably gonna recover high, really high. All right, DK Dan, smart, gonna wait for the descent. Oh, doesn't pick yeah. up the back air. Oh, All but right. catches his double jump right there. Yeah, that up air. Barely not taking it yet. All right, grabs the grenade. Going to toss it up. Very smart. And that and forward smash, catching the spot dodge. He was looking for it before, and he finally got it. DK Dan going to take that 2-1 over Looney. Great job from DK Dan. Look at this. Spot dodge read, F yeah. smash. And, it, and that was really good because if he if he missed that forward smash, mm -hmm. it would have been safe on block because the, the cooldown on that is not that long. So he he literally could have would have been safe because it was on cross up too. So honestly, it was just a really good choice, a really good decision making from DK Dan. Yeah.